Hello and welcome to Atrix Marketing. My name is Larry and this is a video tutorial and it's entitled 21 Tips to Better Search Results on Google. Now I'm going to go through this fairly rapidly and obviously you can pause and rewind in areas you may need to but also you can visit our website atrixmarketing.com and you'll find a blog that I've done that outlines each one of these tips step by step. So let's go ahead and get started and jump on into Google. All right, we're going to go to google.com or www.google.com. Tip one, use quotations. Okay, we're going to start by adding some search terms here and do a search. Now, if you'll notice in your search results description, these are words that are bolded. And these bolded words are actually the search term results from what you enter here. And we'll notice that we have Prince of Persia and then some more words and then movie reviews and there's an S on views. Now this doesn't exactly match our, our search terms here and if this is what you were looking for this would work fine but if you had you really needed your search term to be exactly what you enter in here if you put quotation marks at the beginning and then again at the end of the search and then research you'll notice that the search terms now only show up websites that have the exact search terms that you've entered here. All right, let's move on to step number two. Use a minus sign before words you do not want to show up in the results. We're going to do a simple search term for fast food. And if you'll notice in the uh, bolded area again, all the descriptions have fast food. Next to this fast food, it has the word restaurant. Well, let's say you wanted to do a search for fast foods, but you did not want the word restaurant to show, show up in your search terms. We'll go ahead and do a minus sign before restaurants and then click search again. Now you'll notice all your search results have fast food, but none of your search results have restaurant anymore. Alright, let's move on to step number three. Use site colon plus the website URL. Now we're going to go ahead and enter in this search term. Notice I have the word site, there's a colon, and www.cnn.com. Note, note that there is no space between the colon and the www. Let's go ahead and click search. And if you'll notice in all the results, the only URL, the only websites that are coming up are the ones that have cnn.com in it and that's in every single result. So simply putting site www dot whatever the website is, that's how you can only search inside that website. So let's say we wanted to search Gulf Coast oil spill. We only wanted the results from CNN.com. Click search and we'll notice the Gulf Coast spill and all of our results are from CNN.com. All right, let's move on to step number four. Use a tilde. Okay, let's enter in the search term restaurant and click search. Now you'll notice in the bolded text of our results, the word restaurant shows up. Okay, let's say that we wanted to use, we wanted to find search results that are similar to restaurant or pertinent to the word restaurant. If we put the tilde before and do our search with restaurant, then we get words like dining, pizza, food, and so on. Menu. You get the point. That's an excellent way to do search results where you want to include words that may be similar to the word you're searching for. Which brings us to step five. Use file type. Let's say, for instance, you want to find somewhere on the internet a PDF file that has something to do with money. What you would do is you would put file type colon PDF space and then whatever search term you would want. So if we do it this way, do search then the only results we're going to get are PDF files. We're not going to have Word files, we're not going to have HTML sites, 
only going to have PDF files. So this is one way you can do that. And you can also use, if you change that to DOC for documents, we're only going to get files that are Microsoft Word documents. So simply put file type, colon, whatever the ending of your file type would be, and then the word you, or words you would want to search for that particular type of file. This brings us to step or tip six, use or. Or can be used to search when you're looking for words and you're not sure either one would work. So if we did a search for SEO or SEM, then our results are going to be bringing up websites that have either SEO or SEM inside the search results. Let's move on to step or tip seven. Use the plus operator. Let's say we want to search for peanut butter and jelly. If we do a search and you'll notice that peanut butter and jelly does appear in multiple places. There it doesn't have the and and then here we have the N symbol. Well, let's say we wanted to include and. We wanted and to show up in our result. If we put a plus sign, it tells Google that this word is important. We want it to show up in our results. Do a search 